News the Supreme Court has just officially issued now one of its most consequential rulings in recent decades. Uh, just moments ago, the court ruling uh, in favor again of putting this case back down to the lower courts on the issue of abortion and whether or not women whose health is at risk uh, should be able to have an abortion uh, in the ER. This is specific to the state of Idaho. Of course, this was a challenge uh, to the states after uh, Roe was overturned and then multiple states uh, no longer uh, made abortion available in their states. I want to get right to Terry Moran because, Terry, as you know, uh, this was leaked yesterday for a time, uh, an egregious error by the court to have it posted online temporarily. Uh, we were unclear whether or not that was the official decision, but it looks at this point that it's almost exactly the same as to what we saw yesterday. Word for word on, on first and cursory reading, David. It does look word for word, and certainly the result is the same. So this, this case, as you point out, was a clash between that Idaho state ban on abortion, uh, with no exception for the health of the woman, abortions were uh, legal in Idaho only, under this law, only after rape and incest or to prevent death, necessary to prevent death. That clashed with a federal law that uh, called for anyone who goes into an emergency room in the United States gets emergency care, and the government argued that must include those rare and tragic cases where a woman emergency care means termination of the pregnancy. And uh, in this case, what they have done is they said, we can't decide it right now. And the reason is, uh, although the court doesn't explain itself, Amy Coney, Justice Amy Coney Barrett does write and notes two developments that make this wrong to decide now. The Idaho Supreme Court revised its law in an opinion after the court got this case, and the Idaho State Legislature revised it after the court got this case. And so, essentially, although they don't explain it officially, you can uh, judge from Justice Coney Barrett's uh, uh, opinion here that what they decided was is just too fluid right now. Send it back, let the new case come to them, because this is definitely coming back to the Supreme Court at some point, on the right law, developing the facts, with lower court opinions and briefs and dissents, and then we'll take it, <clears throat> is, is looking like what the court is doing here. So, Terry, essentially this means this is not a final decision here, but as far as it affects women in the short term, particularly women in Idaho, uh, this means that if their health is at risk, that the, if they go into an ER in Idaho, uh, that if an abortion is needed, they would be able to get that in the ER. That's right. Right now, uh, the, 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 it returns to the original action by a federal trial judge, which put the Idaho law on hold. So women who have those terrible complications that might require the termination of a pregnancy in order to prevent you know, massive bleeding, renal failure, hypoxic brain injury, all things that might not lead to death, but that are very serious consequences if the pregnancy continues, they will still be able to get uh, an abortion in the in the emergency rooms of Idaho. They have been fly helicoptering women out of those emergency rooms to Portland, to other states, because of the concern that doctors could be prosecuted under the Idaho law in the interim. Right now, that Idaho law has been stayed once again, and so the women in Idaho can uh, get the care, the emergency care uh, that they need if that includes the termination of a pregnancy in Idaho. All right, Terry, stick with us. Terry Moran live at the Supreme Court there for us this morning. Of course, this is the biggest abortion case since the court overturned Roe uh, nearly two years ago now, which resulted in abortion bans in more than a dozen states. Uh, for the first time since that ruling, the court weighing in this morning on the scope of a state abortion ban. It comes about 24 hours, I mentioned, after that document uh, was uh, mistakenly and briefly posted online. Uh, but it did turn out to be the actual decision. The case is out of Idaho. It's Moyle versus the United States. And essentially, as Terry just pointed out, it asks if a federal law governing emergency care protects access to abortion at hospitals when a woman's health is at risk. And for now, the court is saying we're going to send this back down to the lower courts. Uh, women whose health is at risk or are at risk uh, in particular cases can, in fact, get an abortion at an ER uh, in the state of Idaho. Again, this was a t test, the first significant test to the state abortion ban.